this is an intake for the 6.5, the Mazda 6, and the Mazda 3, if you have a 2.5 liters. Uh, okay, so I need to disconnect the negative on the battery. So that's removed. Wow. Wow, big engine, eh? <laughs> joke just don't want to break anything oh okay god okay all right breather hose is off oh okay tuck this into place okay just okay that's done Yeah, it just comes right off. Wow. Okay, there's a clip here. Just squeeze it and pull away. And that's like the, the E step. <laughs> all right. Okay, so now all I'm doing is taking off this um, rubber tubing out because I loosened the, the hose clamp and I also uh, unclipped the wire harness here and you just gotta lift it up that's the next step so that's what I'm trying to do here oh 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 it's coming off All right. you can take these uh, nuts out And you don't want to break this because you'll need it for the install later. So that's really important actually. Oh, oh. I got some movement. Oh, oh God. Okay, so the problem I'm having, I need to remove this piece here, the scoop from this box, but there's like those tabs that doesn't want to move. So there was this, those tabs here. So with my screwdriver, I was able to just like pull it in. So now I got loose on one side. If I take it out, see it's still out. And I, I just hope I can put my screwdriver and uh, do repeat the same process just like pulling the tabs in they are like heavy duty plastic tabs they're really weird and hard to maneuver but we'll get there oh yeah so we just removed the the cold air box squeeze them up okay one Just come and squeeze them out. And just okay. Is that the only thing I don't like? It's my is my corner here. Just not, it doesn't look smooth, but hey, it'll still work, you know. But yeah, so now all I need to do is put the smaller one in the, the hole, the hole here. So that's what I'm gonna do now.
I'm just gonna install the rubber, oops, the rubber grommets back in place. Okay, I got one. Two. Hope it fits. Okay. Wow. It seems to fit in quite nice, actually. Yeah. Okay, so the heat shield fits a Mazda 3, a Mazda 6, and a 6.5 if you have a 2.5 liter engine. And I have a 2017 car, but more detail in the description. Okay, yeah. I don't know how much force I should put. I don't want to snap them. I think that's just enough. I don't think you need to put a lot of force here. It's not like a main uh, uh, screw. You know, it's not a like an exhaust screw or something. A bolt. Okay, so now step G. Install the sleeve. Okay, so, so put the sleeve inside the tube and try to like uh, match the holes. So hope everything's gonna fit. Oh god. Okay. So I forgot to uh, <laughs> take off the MAF sensor. So that's what I'm about to do now. I was like, well, where, where is it? And it was still here. Now you just gotta screw uh, this the MAF sensor in, basically. You don't wanna over tighten this bolt because you don't wanna strip these bolts. So now there's this um, little rubber grommet that was in the hardware bag. And basically, oh god, you just gotta put it like feed it through I guess so now we just gotta put this rubber I wanna say sleeve but just like this rubber thing and the uh, the the clamp and oh it said do not tighten the clamp yet yeah 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 okay gotta make sure to put both of these uh um, clamps, fasteners, clamps, whatever. You know. All right. Oh my God, it's really a. Uh... Oh no, my my cable. Okay. All right. Everything seems about right. Oh no.
think I feel a bit more power like no jokes when I was uh, I think like the end of second gear to third gear it felt more powerful like just a little bit but definitely felt different so yeah that's cool I guess oh it's 50 here gotta slow down gotta slow down Oh yeah, shitty road condition, wow. 